What is going on, folks? Humble King Seven Eight here again. Um, my honest opinion on Brock Lesnar. Okay. Let's paint this picture. What if Brock Lesnar beats Cain Velasquez? Then he fights Junior Dos Santos and beats him. While at the same time, Vito Belfort beats Anderson Silva. What if now Brock Lesnar is considered the best pound for pound fighter in the world in MMA? That pisses me off to say the least. I don't agree with that. I don't see Brock Lesnar being the number one heavyweight in the world. He's not ranked number two in my opinion as far as heavyweights. I just don't see it. I think the ranking system, the ranking list is so faulty and so corrupted by the UFC it's ridiculous to even consider a ranking of top 10 or top 5 fighters because if you do something or say something wrong you're off the list like Josh Barnett is not even on the list top 10 anymore and I understand why I'm not, I don't care about that I'm talking about Brock point is you have Cain Velasquez and Junior Dos Santos in the top 5 um, I think on Sure Dog's list they have Antonio Silva's number 10 uh, and Who's the other, uh, other ranking? I think Junkie, I think, has uh, Brett Rogers number 10. What? I mean, how low have they stooped to just like, oh, we have to find people. Let's just throw anyone on the list. Listen, I'm not a hater of anybody. I respect anyone, and both male and female, that step into the ring arcade for MMA. I could care less about what they do in a personal life, unless... They put it out on video and I'll watch it. And it might be interesting. I'll, I'll check it out. I just have a strong opinion when it comes to fighting. Because I pay my money to watch fights as any other fan does. And I go out there from time to time to support them in the arenas. And I watch these fights. And I'm also training. Doesn't make a difference that I train. But here's the point. If you're going to claim something, give me a good reason. Give me something that makes me believe you. Or want to believe you. I want to believe Brock is the number one heavyweight in the world, but I don't. Fedor is either number one or Overeem is. Either of the two, but not Brock Lesnar. There's no way. He doesn't even have 10 pro fights. He doesn't even have more wins to say, okay, maybe we can consider him a veteran. He's not even a vet and he's considered number one ranked. How ridiculous does that sound? Brock Lesnar, the number one heavyweight in the world, with not even five years of experience under his belt. Not even five. Not even five. And he's he's number one. It, it just, it's so faulty because right after Fedor loses, he beats Shane Carmen. All of a sudden, that fight is for the best heavyweight fighter in the world. And Brock won. He's the best heavyweight. It's just stupid. The stupidest thing I've ever seen. And another thing that, that gets me upset the other side of the heavyweights aren't in the UFC. Overeem is not in the UFC. Where Doom got kicked out of the UFC after losing to Junior Dos Santos, which is stupid for cutting him after that. Then you have, well, I, I think Chuck Fuss did sign him. I think it did sign Barnett, but he's not in the top 10. Then you have Bigfoot Silva and Brett Rogers. So you have five guys on the other side that aren't mentioned because they're not in the UFC. It's marketing, it's branding, it, 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 it's corruption. That's what it is, corruption. The fact that you can't find a better reason to say Brock is number one than him being associated with the UFC. That's the only reason. And I, I really don't like that. I'd much rather it come down to the statistics, the basics of it. Who's done more to get to this spot? It shouldn't be on who makes more to get to this spot. I think the biggest downfall the UFC had was signing Brock was that they were forced to give him a title shot. And I'll be honest. I'll say what, what people are thinking. When he fought Frank Mir, he should have never gotten that fight first off. When he fought Frank, I feel if he won, he probably would have gotten a title fight after that. But because he lost, there was more money generated that they could ever imagine to get from it 
Then 87 came around in Minnesota, just feeding him opponents. Here's where the corruption started. He beat Heath Herring unanimous three rounds. Then Heath Herring just disappeared. The last time you ever saw Heath Herring fight in UFC was at UC 87. What happened? The guy beat Chet Congo at 82. The same card, Henderson fought Silver for the number one contender spot for for the heavyweights. Then he fights Brock. He loses, and he's just unheard of. Disappeared. Don't know where he is. Heath who? And I'm like, what went wrong? What did he do? Like, what? why can't you give me a better reason than he's not interested in fighting anymore? Like, it's just corruption. And then after after that, he fights Randy Couture. Randy Couture decides to come back. Perfect timing, huh? So he beats Randy. Now he's a heavyweight champ. Should have never got a title shot that quick. Should have never fought the competition that he's getting. And on top of that, the money that he's getting for since that fight, since UC ninety one, he he's the only heavyweight fighter um, that receives chunk of the pay per view or small portion of the pay per view. Tim Sylvia, who who's the two time champ, never received that type of money. My problem is because he fought in uh, well wrestled whatever or entertained in the ring for WWF then changed to WWE. He deserves to be a main attraction, and I agree. I 100% agree. But don't give me Brock Lesnar two fights in or one for one fighting Randy Couture. He does not belong in the cage with Randy. He should have at least. Ten fights before he fights Randy. Not two. And their excuse was, well, the heavyweight division was starving. We need a champion. It's all crap. It's all it's all marketing. It's all garbage. And, and that's what MMA is based on now. UFC has found a way to make Brock their poster child to give them enough money. They opened up an office in China, and I think due to the success from Brock and when he got sick they lost their minds I mean could you imagine if they didn't have Frank Mir if they cut Frank Mir after he lost to Brandon Vera what they would do they would have no main event what, what was your main event for the interim title Big Nog against Shane Carmen you know how poor that would have sold the fact that they even had Frank Mir and all those other guys to rely on Brock was just their top priority and everyone else can go after themselves. And that's how I feel. I feel as if they told that to Heath Herring. And they dragged Brandon Vera out of heavyweight division. Which I thought was a smart plan. Because he probably would have gotten killed by Brock if they fought. Because right when Brock came in, Brandon left the heavyweight division. Um, Heath got lost. Randy came back. Frank is all of a sudden a contender. Um, which he wasn't. Uh, still don't think at this point he is. But anyway... Um, what else happened? Um, yeah, then UFC 100. Perfect timing, don't you think? I mean, there's so much to go into detail about. I, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing Brock Lesnar. I'm just upset at the fact that the way things happened, that I found the time to think about it, and I'm telling you, that's just the way I see it. So... To end on this note, from digressing, nine minutes in, Brock Lesnar, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, is not the number one heavyweight in the world. I'm not sure what I'm going to label this video, but I just wanted to throw something out there so you guys can watch it. So, thanks for watching as always. Um, and I won't be surprised if I get some hate mail from a lot of Brock Lesnar fans. In Brocktober, mind you. Alright guys, take care. Peace.